Okay, so in order to root the Redmi 4A, you first need to unlock the device's bootloader. And to unlock this, please click on the link which I have given in the description and click on unlock now. There you need to select the, your name like this and then you have to select the country code. For example, in India it's 91 and here you have to enter your mobile number which is linked to your MI account using Redmi 4A. Then select the reason for unlocking the device's bootloader. Make sure you have not copied from internet and it should be a valid reason. For example, you can say anything like my device is not booting or something like this. But do not select that you need to install a custom ROM or something like this. Okay. Click on apply now button and it will take a second to load a new page. Here you need to enter the OTP which you will be receiving on your number registered to MI account and you cannot proceed the further steps without entering the OTP. So here you need to enter the OTP code which you have received and then click on the next button. Now your application will be reviewed within 3 or 4 days maximum but it shows like 10 days and after that you will be receiving a confirmation message from MI team for unlocking your bootloader. Alright so after receiving the permission from MI team we are now ready to root the device. First we need to enable OEM unlocking that you need to do from about phone and tap multiple times on MIUI version. Now your developers option has been enabled and for that you need to go to additional settings and then proceed to developers option. Here you need to select OEM unlocking and click on OK. And then you also have to select USB debugging and click on OK again. And now we are ready to boot unlock the bootloader of the device. So here I have the device. You first need to turn off the device like this. And then you have to press volume down key and the power key simultaneously till you see the fast boot button on the device. And like this you will see. And now all you have to do is connect the device with PC via USB cable. And now you have to download the MI unlock tool. The links have been given in the descriptions and you can download it from there. Here you need to click on agree and enter your mobile number and the password for your MI account. Here it will be checking for the permissions. Now you have to click on unlock button and if you are getting some errors at 50% then you should wait for at least 7 or 8 days before trying it again. Don't worry it will work you just need to wait for some more days. And here you need to click on reboot phone or reboot it manually and I'll be doing it manually so I will be closing the tool. Here I have rebooted the device and now I'll be showing you that it has been unlocked. You need to go to settings, additional settings, developers option, MIUI unlock status and here you see that the device has been unlocked. Okay so now we will be installing TWRP recovery on this phone. For that you need to download additional two files. The links have been given in the descriptions. You need to copy super SU file to your internal storage of the device like this by USB cable or mounting it. And then you have to extract my TWRP installation tool via a simple tool like WinRAR and place it on the desktop. And then you need to open the folder containing the files and click on click it.bat file and press the any key to start the process. On the device you need to allow USB debugging permissions and if you see some errors you just need to open this tool again, the bat file basically and the tool will automatically work and the TWRP recovery will install on your device and also the device will automatically reboot to TWRP recovery and like this. But this is in Chinese language so you need to follow the option, click on that option and slide it. Then you need to select on that option and the last one, here you need to select the language which is English and click on this OK or whatever the button is. Now our recovery is in English. So tap on install and select the super su file which we re recently moved to the device and now move this to allow installation. It's, it will take a, about a minute and then you need to click on reboot button and then you will see, see a slider option. All you have to do is slide this option and your device will reboot. So here I have the device with me. And you can see that the application Super SU has been installed. Let me zoom into it a little bit so you can clearly see the file. So your device has been successfully rooted. Now you can install custom ROMs or use applications that require root permissions on your device. Yeah.